a pound, Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest fighter ever lived. Oh, come on, man. What about Joe Lewis? The Brown Bomber. Now, that was a great boxer. You damn right. I suppose nobody in here ever heard of Cassius Clay. We got a point. Cassius Clay was a bad motherfucker. Hey, I ain't saying Clay ain't bad. I'm just saying I stopped liking Cassius Clay once you changed the name to Muhammad Ali. What kind of shit is that? Wait a second. Wait a second. A man has the right to change his name to whatever he wants to change it to. And if a man wants to be called Muhammad Ali, God damn it, this is a free country. You should respect his wishes and call the man Muhammad Ali. His mama named Clay. I'm gonna call him Clay. Mm-hmm. That's right. I say Clay. Get out of here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He gonna always be Clay to me. I don't give a fuck what he changed name to. He is Clay. He Clay to me. I say Clay. Well, then you're a putz. The three of you. Three putzes. You should change the name outside from Mighty Sharp to the Three Putzes. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever lived. I'll be with you boys in a minute. He was bad in Captain Clay. He bad in Sugar Ray. He bad in that. Who that? You, the new boy. Ty, got. Mike, Mike Tyson looked like a bulldog. He bad in him, too. He done whipped Mike Tyson there. He whipped all their asses. What about Rocky Marciano? Oh, there they go. There they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out their ass. That's the one. That's the one. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Let me tell you something wonderful. Rocky Marciano was good. But compared to Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano ain't shit. He beat Joe Lewis's ass. That's right. He did whoop Joe Lewis's ass. Joe Lewis was 75 years old when he fought. I don't know how old he was, but he got his ass whooped. Joe Lewis had come out of retirement to fight Rocky Marciano. The man was 76 years old. Joe Lewis always lied about his age. He lied about his age all the time. One time, Frank Sinatra comes out here and sat down in this chair. And I said, Frank, you hang out with Joe Lewis. Just between me and you, how old is Joe Lewis? You know what Frank told me? He said, hey, Joe Lewis, 137 years old. 137 years old. Oh, man, you ain't never meet no Frank Sinatra. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you. Who's next? God damn, boy, what's that, some kind of weave or something? It is my natural hair. I have been growing it since birth. Oh, shit, what kind of chemical you got in there? I have put no chemicals, only juices and berries. <laughs> shit, that ain't nothing but ultra firm. Tell me how you want me to cut this. Just make it nice and neat. That'll be $8. Hey, the boys from Africa, how y'all doing this evening? Sir, where can one go to find nice women here? Oh, you got to get out and look. They ain't gonna just fall in your lap. We have been to every bar in Queens. Well, that's where you messed up, son. You can't go to no bar to find a nice woman. You got to go to a nice place, a quiet place like a library. It's a good woman there. And um, at church, it's good girls. Or this place here, where I'm going tonight, the Black Awareness Rally, it's gonna be some fine women there. Good, good, clean girls. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, it's Kunta Kinte! <laughs> what can I do with you, boy? Can you make my hair look like this? Oh, man, what you want to make your hair look like that for? Well, I like the way you wear your hair. Wear it natural. That's good, man. You know, I wish more of the young children today would wear their hair natural like Dr. Martin Luther King did. That's right. You ain't never seen Dr. Martin Luther King with no messy jerry curl on his head. Ain't that right? Amen. Dr. King ain't come walk around like that. You know, sweet, I met Dr. Martin Luther King once. And you lying. You ain't never met Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah, I met Dr. Martin Luther King in 1962 in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm walking down the street, minding my own business, just walking off, feeling good. I walk around the corner, man woke up, hit me in my chest, right? I fall on the ground, right? And I look up at Dr. Martin Luther King, I say, Dr. King! He said, oops, I thought you were somebody else. Oh, man, you lying. You ain't never met Martin Luther the King. It knocked the wind out of me. Yes, he did. No, it didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did not. Hey, boy, why are you so worried about how you look anyway? Well, I am trying to gain the interest of a certain young lady. I ain't never heard no woman giving no man no love just because his hair look good. That's right. Is this American girl? Yes. <laughs> you got to go through a papa. See, that's a big misconception. People don't know that about American women. Ain't got nothing to do with your hair or your pocket. You get in good with American woman's father, you in good with her. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. That's right. You get in good with the father, you home free. Mm-hmm, home free. 
Like a bird. Who in the hell is that? Hey, what's up, brother? You a little late for the Christmas pageant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm King Joffy Jofer, ruler of Zamunda. Yeah, well, have a seat. Chair number two, be ready in a second. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? I have come for my son, Akeem. Come for who? You know, Kunta from up, Kunta. Oh, yeah, the boy upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, him. He around here someplace. He live upstairs on the fifth floor. Hey! Hey, who gonna clean up all these flowers? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Stop right there. Listen, stop right there a minute. Man goes into a restaurant. You listening? A man goes into a restaurant. He sits down, he's having a bowl of soup. He says to the waiter, waiter, come, taste the soup. The waiter says, is there something wrong with the soup? He says, taste the soup. He says, is there something wrong with the soup? Is the soup too hot? He says, will you taste the soup? It's wrong. Is the soup too cold? Will you just taste the soup? All right, I'll taste the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha. <laughs> Aha. What do you know from funny, you bastard? <laughs>